Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Redmi K40 and the Poco F3. Today we are talking about something super amazing, downright the smoothest ROM for this particular device that is Hentai OS, also known as Helluva OS or the Pixel 5 ROM. Now it's been a while since this ROM has been released and a couple of days back I flashed it on the Mi 11X and I've been using it since then. So my experience has been pretty amazing. This is by far the smoothest ROM that I have used. And we will also have a look at the benchmark numbers and battery life in these 24 hour review. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find the link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? Hentai OS Salty Ice Cream Fury Ma Magikami for Xiaomi Gorami. Now this particular update or this particular ROM is available for IMI, Apollo and Elliot. Elliot is this particular device that is the Mi 11X. The installation process is a little complicated so we will talk about that in a different video. The installation and the update for this particular ROM requires you to have a computer. So definitely we will talk about it in a different video. But look at the changelog, how beautifully they are presenting this particular ROM and that is what makes Pixel 5 ROM this very very amazing ROM. Now there are a ton of changes over here so I'm not going to go through each and every part of it but you can go ahead and pause the video and look at the changelog right. Now leaving the changelog aside let's go to the home screen. Now the moment you boot into this particular ROM you will see that it is very clean it looks very close to Pixel 5 the icons are there you know the whole look and feel of the OS is Android 12 in all its glory and that is what makes this particular ROM really really interesting it basically transforms your Mi 11X into a complete Pixel 5 at least on the software front to the left of course you have Google feed which works like a charm it is absolutely butter smooth i've not had any issues at all even if you launch any app any icon the transitions are so smooth that is the reason i used it for a couple of days before actually deciding that you know this is one of the smoothest roms that i have ever experienced on the mi 11x so if you actually go to settings over here and you go to about phone click on the android version you have the easter egg as you can see rock solid butter smooth it uses the disrupt kernel september security patch now it's not to say that this particular rom doesn't have any issues it will have a few bugs but in my day-to-day -day usage in my usual set of things that i do every day on the mi 11x i've not really had any major issues and the moment you boot into this rom you will see that this is full fledged android 12 with monet ui working on its all glory because you have the theming going to the quick tiles then you have the theming going to the app drawer and if you were to type something you have the theming going to the keyboard as well so basically almost all the google apps are following the you know theming of monet ui and it is butter smooth just see how smooth the transitions are how butter smooth it is working right now you have phone and a few other applications that are pre-installed this rom doesn't come with a lot of bloatware and it comes with a very very basic camera application so if you want to use gcam and stuff you can definitely go ahead and try it now if you actually go to settings over here you will see that it has all the android 12 features for example in network and wi-fi if you go to wi-fi you have the option of disconnect forget share the network and the Wi-Fi connectivity, the mobile phone uh, data connectivity has been immaculate. I've not had any issues at all as far as the connectivity is concerned. You have your airplane mode, VPN, private DNS, adaptive connectivity. You have your Bluetooth for me that has been working fine. Under notifications, you have conversations, bubbles. WhatsApp doesn't support bubbles yet, but yes, more or less everything is working fine over here. Now, when you go to battery usage, you will see that I have been using it for a long time for the past 24 hours and we are still at 46 percent battery now something that concerned me over here is that the ambient display is taking up 46 percent of the battery now that might be a bug that might be an issue i don't know but we've just had one hour of screen on time and 
probably that is a bug for always on display you do have a battery percentage toggle over here and you have adaptive preferences as well under sound and vibration you have all the you know regular features which are working absolutely fine under security you have smart lock and pixel imprint which is a fingerprint scanner that works absolutely okay as well now if you go to system you have gestures you have one hand mode press and hold power button quickly open camera these gestures are working just fine then you have the rules menu sort of what you know is something different you can set rules for certain activities and that seems to be working good as well right now before moving forward i will tell you this that even in the quick tiles or anywhere in the ui whenever you are using any of the features on this particular rom it is working absolutely fine even if you lock the phone and say you go ahead and use the fingerprint there you go so the fingerprint works fine the calling connectivity auto brightness everything is working great let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers over here so if you look at antutu you have 596191 that is a low score from a snapdragon 870 point of view and let's go to google photos now to look at the screenshot now that is your cpu throttling test the cpu throttle to 73 percent of its max performance now that's a little unfortunate but as you can see the average score was also pretty low last but not the least let's quickly go ahead and have a look at geekbench over here so even if you look at the geekbench score the score is on the lower side of 705 single core and 2290 multi core now not looking at the benchmark numbers and not looking at gaming for daily use if you want android 12 Pixel 5 ROM is the way to go because it is doing a great job in overall usage. You don't really have many problems and later I believe the performance issues should be fixed as well. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this wonderful ROM and should it be ported to another devices as well. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.